Greetings boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fallout 4 and a settlement build of Group Manor, but uh, in this case I think we're going to call it um, Group Hotel, because uh, I've built this place up like a hotel. Um, this is a very interesting type of uh, settlement to build in, and uh, if we look at location, it's actually just south of Kingsport Lighthouse. You can see there, Kingsport Lighthouse. Group man is here. We've got uh, La Battaglia to the south. And a couple other familiar places that you can get to. Um, let's see what else is here that's usually very popular. There is Finch Palm. It's also around the corner, basically. And yeah, there's Solgus Ironworks. So we've got a very central location. If we start off the first thing, you're going to notice, okay, obviously there's a big building, we've got a, a caravan um, little spot over here and a Minutemen camp outside the entrance area. And right by the entrance, we have our first defense. Now there is, it's about, I think, two or three um, enemy spawn spots for this uh, settlement. And with this one, you can see I've got extra missiles on here as well. The only course, way you get on in this job is to assume The first spawn kill. spot, or enemy spawn spot should I say, is somewhere over here. Right down over here. I don't know why it's so far away. No other settlement really has a spawn spot so far from it. But this is where the first enemy spawn spot is. And then if we head around here come around and then here's our next uh, defense system and this enemy spawn spot is literally right here that little opening right here the pot this open area before the road underground in the center there that's our next spawn spot so that is now end of that so these weapons that I've got well, technically, they can protect right around this entire settlement. Because of the height, um, they can go all the way around. And this settlement gets a lot of ghouls and super mutant attacks. So that's something to be prepared for. And um, as you can see, I put up a fence right around here. Um, this is more or less the boundary of the settlement around the fence area. Now, there is a a full kind of fence when you get here but you can't craft that fence and most of the fence is broken so I decided okay I'm gonna take it out put it put up this fence so I can you, know, you can see through it and it's nice and open everywhere and just open our gate it actually closes automatically afterwards um, so you can see here the boundary goes there's our trusty old Brahmin props and things over there um, the boundary comes around and then it forms around the this cliff area of the settlement. And then we've got our first uh, little outside building. Obviously this is our water supply. Yeah, simple because we can't place, put anything in the... Well, we can't use the ocean water down here. Because all it's blocked off, we can't access that. Um, and this bike actually came with the settlement. This was with it. So I decided I'm going to keep it because it's, it's cool looking. And um, you can't actually craft it in any way as far as I know. Um, and then I just added some tables and things you can see here. And storage stuff on the outside. So when the people are working hard outside here, there's a place for them to sit. A um, couple of nuka wall decorations because why not? Uh, I haven't used it in any of my settlements yet, so... Well, there we go. Nuka decorations, and it closes off this gap here a bit, so if anything does decide to come around here, it can't get in. Um, and for those who haven't seen the settlement yet, this central part is what you get with it, with this little walkway here. To walk up. This comes with the settlement, this center part. So this basically divides this area up. And then we have our, uh, obviously our workbench. Um, 
this little cabinet was on the wall here. Yeah. There's something in here. Oh, there's still caps inside there. Okay, so that was there. I added this um, outside porch area for you know, people to sit. You can look out onto the ocean and enjoy the ocean air and everything. I built up this little foundation area. You can see it looks pretty cool. Uh, seating area, a little campfire outside here. Yeah. Um, something I did notice, for some reason this settlement is actually very laggy. If I move very fast, well, I'm busy doing something in the settlement. For some reason the settlement is laggy, I don't know why. You know, I've got settlements that are bigger and have more people in it and everything and I don't have such a problem. So it's a little bit weird, but I just thought I'd mention it. Okay, I put down this uh, black RV, I've used this before and uh, I managed to get my generator in here and it goes actually through this little hole here. Uh, I've got my terminals and my spawn little mat, so if I spawn in here then I've got my mat. But this is where I start off. So if you see, there you can see now that's connected to the inside here. And then my power supply obviously is routed up onto the building and around the original building. And to mention as well, this building has got a lot of gaps and holes and boards and things on the windows and stuff. So I took off all the boards that were covering up the windows and I managed to close up most of the gaps. So you can see this brick concrete wall I put in here that's painted. So it gives a similar white color to what the building is, except now for this gap of course. Now you're going to see it looks like we're actually looking through the floor. And you see there's a person standing there, but there's actually a carpet there. It's something I managed to do. I'm going to show you guys now when we get in the inside there. Um, okay, this is the original door that was on here. They didn't do anything there. Okay, there are, you can see I patched up that hole over there. Um, there's some more of the concrete that I put in there. You can see this is the normal concrete wall. And then they have put some of these other concrete walls which patched up now the holes and everything. Um, I was going to do the roof, then I thought, okay, wait, let's leave that rather. I don't want to cover up too much of the original house. Um, huh? Okay, so all the windows are open. I can't, don't think I did anything on this side. No. And then we, um, I managed to build up this big hotel on top of this house. And I put everything inside here. As you can see, there's only thing outside here is the fences, the, the water, and places to sit, that's it. Everything is in the inside. So yeah, we got all our um, people farming over here on the first level. And yeah, you can see there's a little bit laggy for some reason. I don't know why it's lagging so much. And here is one of the repaired walls. And I added some uh, paintings everywhere on the inside around here. Just to give it some more color. Um, yeah, I don't know why this bit on the lagging like this, but anyway, let's move on. Um, lost you track of how many blisters I got. Um, sorry to hear that. Um, you can see it looks like it's um, see through, and you can see that person. Okay, so let's head upstairs. Um, oh, yes, a little spoiler for those that don't know. We're going to get a quest to come here for the first time. You get this area here. I've, obviously I've cleaned everything up, but except for this part. There's a basement at the bottom here, which is not part of the settlement. Strangely enough, I don't know why they did that. They should have made it part of the settlement. Because you can't do anything inside there, and the place is a mess. But uh, that's a spoiler for people who haven't played here yet. Okay, uh, and obviously we've got our um, workbenches for people who haven't uh, or I mean for settlers who are looking for something to do. Oh, it's very laggy, I don't know why, but anyway. Okay, now, first you're going to notice, it looks like there's like smoke or mist over here. Now, I can't get rid of it and it's just on this little spot. Uh, it's obviously one of the game mechanics that didn't work out too well. And I added all the little shops, you can see all the shops are in here. And I've got this carpet 
which I used. Got a uh, dangerous look about actually boards up here to here cover up the holes. But these carpers actually snap onto each other and they close up the whole floor and you can place things on them and walk on them and not have any problems even falling through. So you can see here the people are got all their shots. Oh man, I don't like this laggy feeling that's yep. coming up here. Okay, now you guys are all in the way here. There we go. Force myself up. There we go. Okay, then we come to the first floor that I built up. Or fixed up. No, this was fixed up. Sorry. Um, this floor area is what I put in. But Easy there is some of the original say. floor below it. You can see that thick flooring. And this is where I put the main bar and yeah. eating area and things like that. Uh, everybody comes up here to eat and drink and do their things. You got this nice little lady Back here. Hurts. My feet hurt. Our bar lady. Everything hurts. Hmm. I get thirsty just looking at this place. Okay, we got some nice bar chairs and tables. You can see the drinks standing over here and the nice seats. And then we got uh, there's a nice little painting there. Okay, then we move on. We come to our first sleeping area. Um, now let's look at our stats first. Okay, I managed to get in 40. I only wanted 36 people, but I managed to put in 40. I might actually take some out seeing that this place is so laggy. But um, we've got 40 of everything, our food, our water, everything came to a nice round number. Um, so that worked out okay. And everybody's got their own bed, so there's no double beds. And we got like five or six stories high, so we can build pretty high. And as you can see, everybody's got tables and a little bit of storage. There's space to sit and you know, there's clothes to be, well, place to store their clothes. And then go up, and I managed to get these railed in as well because the wooden rails you can't put next to each other in order to. Do cover up this, these gaps but these steel ones uh, from the scaffolding thing worked well um, I tried to put in different lights and change a couple of small details everywhere um, so you see some of the lights are different or different plants and things like that just to change it up a little bit there you can see now we've got little different lights again different plants But sometimes it gets difficult as to what you want to use, especially if you've got a lot of people to in your settlement. Now change it up again. Add like some new mods in that give you these lamps and things as well. It's pretty cool. And they add some light as well. And we go up further. So all the floors have storage and things for clothes and everything. Now we got full on tables, candles in bottles. You now different plants again. Okay, and then we up. And this is the last floor. Yeah, I did something completely weird again. We got candles on skulls. Looks kind of weird, but anyway. Okay, and everybody's also got their storage and stuff. Now, the one thing is with the build height of the settlement. Originally, when I built this roof, I had it on an angle going up. But I couldn't put in the last piece, the last flat piece, because that was technically the build height. So I actually had to drop the whole roof, make the whole roof flat. So you can see it went flat all the way through. So this is the highest you can go. It's pretty high up. And this here is one. That's two. Let me look around here. This is three. Uh, then we've got crops coming in pretty good. This is four. Uh, that's five. Uh, Can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. So five. There's five floors for sleeping, and this is technically the roof of the original house. This, which I built up the other floors. So there's extra five floors which I built up. 
which is sleeping and then this one I've fixed up that's why it looks like it's part of it so let's get out of here all this shop this place is actually big that's five six seven so there's like eight floors in total to this whole ball take it from the ground floor up oh, no there's definitely more lag inside that inside the building now it's getting dark you can actually see the lights and everything let's quickly fly up here just to get an aerial view so you can see it looks like a hotel and you can go up the roof so you can see how flat the roof is that I had it actually on an angle but this is the bolt height you can't go any higher than that unless you get mods or something to do it but I think it came out pretty good just the leg that I've got is a little not very nice but uh, I added in some of the trees as well here for extra color around the water side and um, you'll see this area as well that we're in you're gonna get super uh, super mutants that come in. The super mutants come from this side. Um, I think where is? I'm not sure where it is now. But I know this side, this like town area that's on this side. You get a lot of um, ghouls, and they they respawn in this area. Um, that area down there, where that right at the bottom, is a uh, place you get mylets and things like that. So if you're looking for my lips, that's where you can get some. Well guys, I think that is going to be it. It's a pretty cool ball to do. I had some difficulty trying to arrange some things. But um, I think that's going to be it. That was pretty fun to do. So. Until next time, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys again. Cheers.